Hello good day viewers. In our introduction to graph transformations, we have learned that graphs could be transformed in so many different ways and we have learned that a graph can be shifted, right? And this shift can occur vertically or horizontally. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to shift a graph, either vertically or horizontally. And we are given six different transformations here, though we have three vertical shift and three horizontal shifts. So we are going to pick one horizontal, one vertical for each question because we have three mother functions given to us. We have x squared, we have x to the power of 3, and we have 1 divided by x. And I have already constructed their respective graphs. This is the graph of x squared. This is the graph of x to the power of 3. And this is the graph of 1 divided by x. So for x squared, which is a quadratic graph, I would like to take uh, a and d. All right. Let me take a first, which is f of x plus 2. We have f of x plus 2. This is going to be a horizontal shift. Remember that when the effect is on x axis, the shift will occur along what? The horizontal line. So if we have f of x plus 2 like this, already our uh, f of x is x squared. So wherever we have x, we are going to replace it with x plus 2. So this implies we have x plus 2 whole squared. So we would like to construct the graph of x plus 2 whole squared. Without graphing another function, we can transform this one to this one by just simply shifting the graph two units to the left hand side. If this value is negative, you should shift the graph two units to the right. But if it is positive, shift it to the left. All right. It is as simple as taking this value, set it to be equal to 0, x will be negative 2. So every single x coordinate, you have to add negative 2 to that. Already this is 0, 0. This is what I mean, 0, 0. Where x is 0, y is also 0. So if you add negative 2 to 0, it becomes negative 2. But y remains constant. So our new coordinate will be at negative 2 and 0. So this is negative 2 and 0. So you see that this point has been shifted 2 units to the left. You do the same thing for all other points. We have another one here. Shifted 2 units. 1, 2. We have another one here. 1, 2. Then let me move to the other leg. We have 1 here. 1, 2. We have another one here. Shifted 2 units. 1, 2. Can you see that? We have shifted the graph 2 units to the left. Let us connect all the points. So now we have just constructed a graph of x plus 2 whole squared without constructing an entirely new graph. We have transformed the mother function into a new transformation x plus 2 whole squared. So now let us name this. It is what? A graph of x plus 2 whole squared. I can call it y. Now the next transformation which I have chosen is f of x minus 1. This is an external change which is going to be a vertical shift. So d, we have f of x minus 1. Already f of x is nothing but x squared. So we have x squared minus 1. We are going to shift the graph vertically one unit below. So every single point from the original or the mother function will be shifted one unit below. So we have a point here, shift it downward. We have it here, this downward. We have it here, we have another one here, down once. We have another one here, down once. We have another one here, down once. Now let us connect them. So this red graph is a graph of y equal to uh, x squared minus one. This is the mother function or the mother graph, which is x squared, then the green one is what? y equal to x plus 2 whole squared, while the red one is x squared minus 1. This is how to transform a graph using shift. Now let us move on to the second one, which is graph of x to the power of 3. Let us pick two transformations, one internal and one external. Let's take b and c. For b, we have f of x, then plus 2. Let's start with that one f of x plus 2. This is a vertical shift 2 units above. 
So I can even copy this graph and shift it two units above. I think that would be easier for me since I can do that. I'm going to copy it and shift it two units above. One unit, two units. Can you see that? I've just shifted this one. I'll even change the color. Can you see that? Then I'll pick the second leg again and shift it two units above. Two units above. All right, can you see that I have just transformed this graph from the original function to an entirely new graph. This is x to the power of 30, but this will be x to the power of 30, y equal to x to the power of 30, but plus two. Can you see that? Because uh, this is f of x, which is x to the power of 30. This implies that we have x to the power of 30 plus two. And this is going to be the graph of that. Then let us pick second transformation, which is f of x minus 1. We have f of x minus 1. This is an internal change, which means that our new graph will be wherever we have x, we replace it with x minus 1. So this is x minus 1 to the power of 30. So this is the graph we need to construct. So without constructing an entirely new function, we can shift this graph one unit to the right. Since it is negative, we are going to go to the right. If it is positive, you go to the left. So this is the Mother function. Let me shift it to unit one unit to the right. All right. You see, this is the original function, which is the blue one. But the green one is now a new transformation, which is a graph of y equal to uh, x to the power of 30. Uh, x minus 1 to the power of 3. So this is all about the second one. Let us move to the last one where we have a graph of 1 divided by x. We are going to transform it using two transformations, vertical and horizontal. Let us use E and F. E is a vertical shift, three units to, to the bottom, right? We are going downward three units. So we have E to be f of x minus 3, which implies that this is b, f of x is 1 divided by x, then minus 3. This is the graph we wish to construct. So I will take this graph and shift it 3 units to the bottom. So from here, we're going to go down 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Let me change color. Then I'll pick the other leg again. Um, the horizontal asymptote will change. I will show you how. Also from here, 1, 2, 3. So this graph is a graph of what? y equal to 1 divided by x minus 3. And I told you we don't want the denominator to be equal to 0. This is why we are going to avoid any point that will make our denominator to be equal to 0. So uh, in the original function, we have a horizontal asymptote here. It is going to be shifted three units as well. So one, two, three. This is going to be our new horizontal asymptote. I will use a dotted line for that. The graph will never cross that point. Likewise, the vertical asymptote, which is now constant, it, it doesn't change. This graph will never hit this point. But it can go closer and closer, but no matter what, it will never touch it. So the next transformation is f of x minus 3. So f. We have f of x minus 3, which is going to be a horizontal shift. Our function will be 1 divided by wherever we have x, we replace it with x minus 3. So this is going to be a horizontal shift. How many units? Three units. Where? To the right, because it is negative. If it is positive, you move to the left. Three units. So including the vertical asymptote, it will be shifted three units to the right. One, two, three. This is our new vertical asymptote. Imaginary. This is how we have it. So let me take my graph and shift it to the right hand side three units let me just copy that so the yellow graph is a graph of what y equal to one divided by x minus three while the blue one is a graph of one divided by x 
and the green one is what a graph of y equal to 1 divided by x minus 3. So when the effect, when you add a constant to the main function, it is going to cause a vertical shift. If it is negative, you go to the bottom. If it is positive, you go to the top. But once you have an internal change, an effect on x, the graph will be shifted horizontally. If the value added is negative, you should take it to the right. If it is positive, you should take it to the left. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.